Hi, everybody. Greetings, my friends. It's the Jim and Dave's Beer, Beer Review. Review. Dave, what's on tap? Uh, we have some Samuel Smith's Pure Brood Organic Lager. Well, lager sounds good. Pure this, sounds good. Organic. I mean, isn't all beers? This is registered with the Vegan Society. Ooh. Suitable for vegans and vegetarians. Good. Oh, yay. Oh, yay. Well, it's oh, hard yay. to imagine how some kind of part of animal would ever get into beer, but... They got non glucose beers. You yeah, know. but glucose is sugar, isn't it? Something like that. They got non glucose, you know, non glucose beer. They, gluten. They gluten. Gluten beer? Gluten, yeah, gluten's gluten, a little gluten. different. Gluten. Okay, gluten beer. That's what I like, gluten. Um, this is a pure organic uh, lager. It says brewed with great care using only organic malted barley, organic hops, medium soft water, and bottom fermenting yeast. That's what lagers are. Matured at low temperatures to bring out its delicate flavor and soft hop character finish. The cold maturation period allows the bottom fermenting yeast to sec do secondary ferment and improve its lagers flavor, purity, and condition. So, Mr. Beer Maker. Yes? What about that bottom fermenting yeast to secondary ferment? Well, I uh, do ales. They're, that stop fermenting yeast. And I don't have a um, refrigeration chamber that I could put a lager in. Lagering is literally German for to chill. And I don't have the equipment for that. You have to build a uh, fermentation chamber. 5% ABV. All right. Well, you know, Dave and I grew up on drinking American lagers, which you know, this day is called yellow piss water. Miller Genuine Draft. Yeah, that's the one we landed on. Uh, right before we discovered uh, Samuel Adams, that became a biggie. Yeah, and then there was Yingling, but now my friend doesn't want to drink Yingling. Well, no, there was, after that was actually um, Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, which he was just like, no. he, was, he was against. I didn't, like, I didn't like the Pale Ale. But now he does. But I like the Sierra Nevada. Ooh, well, look at Norwell. this. Norwell. This is very clear, very light colored. As you said, piss. Yeah. Well, let's not consider it that before we put it in our mouth, shall we? No, no, I'm just saying the color. Well, it's actually a little lighter than that, I would think. And it's, and and energy is 158K, 38Cal, whatever that means. Fat is 0%. I believe that's the first There's name of There's no Superman. fat in this. Well, hence it's vegan. Ah, uh, so other beers have had fat of in it? Of which sugars, minus 4 grams. Carbohydrates, 2.2 grams. Salt, zero grams. Protein, 0 0.4 grams. Well, that certainly right. is very light colored. It has the typical bubbles coming up from the bottom that you'd expect with this kind of beer. <clears throat> Smells like a lager. We drink these beers to tell you what we think. Right. So you can decide whether you want to go out and get them. Cheers. Bland. We're kind of getting used to those big. Oh, this is uh, this is sour. This is, this is hopped. This is bourbon barrel. This is 12 percent ABV. This has got cardamom seeds, cinnamon, and your mother's pubic hair. <laughs> what? what? Not your mother's pubic hair. <laughs> Not mine either. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Somebody's. She was a donor. <laughs> donor you didn't hear hair. anything. <laughs> Good boy. You can edit that one out too. Well, okay, I was just being yeah, excessive to make a point. Yeah, right. Couldn't use a male pubic hair, I had to use your mother's pubic hair. Well, I. Now well, we're going I, off on a tangent again. If I was going to make a beer with pubic hair, I would prefer it to be female hair. Mm -hmm. Not that there's anything wrong with using male hair. Actually, there's probably something wrong with using hair in general. Okay, don't put hair in your beer. Right. Don't use hair, period, okay? Unless it's from like some extinct species and it gives you magical powers. That'd be cool. Yeah, like, like unicorn pubic hair. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're pretty hairy to start with. I don't know if you... Anyway. Let's not go down that road. I sip drinking beer. This is what this is. It's okay. Not bad. Well, the most difficult scale... Put the, big words in, Jim. Go ahead. Okay. Now. Serendipitous. <laughs> huh. Um... Extra fragilistic expialidocious. <laughs> that's what I wanted to do and I couldn't think of. Well done, Dave. Uh, that's my third one of the year so far. 
He knows words. He knows big words. Hey, he knows I have lots like of words. Ten things, ten He's like Trump. Moments. Ten good moments a year, and this was the third one, I think. Right. One a month. Well done. I'm working up to one a month. But for different styles of beer, Dave and I have often commented that our personal scale will give it the number. That's the general number we use for the beer reviews. But then for individual styles, we'll say, okay, if it's just for this style, not compared to other ones, and it's very difficult to do, what's the number for that? So my first instinct is to say, okay, in the lager category, how does this rate? Hey, you know what? In the in this category of, of organic beers, and I never had one before, I give it a five. And for regular beers, I give it a five because I don't know. I, there must be better organic beers than this. So well, I know what I should give it a ten, then shouldn't I? Because I never had anything before. You could I like it, yeah. Or you could give it a zero. No, I can give it. I, I, I if I give it a zero and drink it. Now I can't give it a five because well, it's that that would mean that it's not any good either. I have to give it a ten because it's the only organic beer I've ever had. Well, somehow I suspect somewhere along the line I may have had an organic beer, but eh, I guess this this is. Beer was probably meant for people who are a real pain in the ass about their eating habits. I have to eat no meat. Yes. I, I remember once I had a vegan Only at a party salads. I was doing and we were having a cookout. And I was just like, oh, you want me to cook up your um, whatever it was on the grill? No, no, I can't. I'll cook it in your kitchen. I'm like, well, why? Well, your grill has been touched by meat. I was like, so what you're eating can't touch something that touched meat even though it's not technically meat itself. Right. I was just like, wow. Okay. Well. It's such a thing between vegans. Vegans like pure. like. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, don't get me wrong. There's some circumstances where that's necessary. Like if you have a peanut allergy. I once read a story many years ago about a girl who kissed her boyfriend who ate peanuts and she died. Yes. So, okay. From that you know aspect, I can understand. Yes. But, so, on, well, you're right. On an organic lager scale, nothing. Blank slate. Yeah, um, had one before. So what I'll do in this case, I'll just say is, I bought this obviously to try it. Am I going to buy it again? Probably not, because I'm not blown away. I'm not, not going to crave it. I'm not going to think about Maybe it. This is like a dollar bottle. I go buy a couple. Now, is it's smooth. It's easy drinking. It, it's a very, for my money, a very neutral palate. It's not malty. It's not hoppy. It is perfectly balanced. So there's that. So, again, it'll probably pair with a lot of different things, much like water does. It doesn't complement. It doesn't necessarily detract. You know, there might be a hint of malt sweetness. I'll, I'll take that back. So, it says here, the cold maturation period allows the bottom fermenting yeast to secondary ferment and improve this lager's flavor, purity, and condition. But it goes on after that saying, before the days of refrigeration, lager was matured in underground caves. Right. And that was the thing with the Yingling. The guy back in the day, the original guy that started it, he had miners go out and dig a bunch of caves somewhere in southern Pennsylvania. And that's still operating to this day until the, the rich guy that owns it now says, I don't like to pay taxes kingdom. in Pennsylvania, so I'm going to move to Florida. And then they discovered the water down there was so much different, it didn't taste like it anymore. So they start shipping the water down to Florida. And then this guy endorses the wrong candidate. USDA organic. I don't buy him anymore. You want to buy him? That's fine. If you want to hand me one, I don't think I'm going to drink it. Product of the UK... Anyway, so my it number. Here, it, it. It, says, it says brewed, beer brewed at Petersburg's oldest brewery in the UK. Mm -hmm. But generally, it's a fine product. Yeah, I, on my personal scale, I agree with Dave. It's probably five out of ten. I'll drink it. I'll drink it. I'm not okay. wild by it. Uh, on the lager scale. If I was being generous, I might say 5.25, but even then, I think to myself, Five. I would give a Samuel Adams Boston Lager in the original recipe a 10. Um, but these days, I don't even know Compared if I can. Compared to this, to a Yingling, what do you think? Oh, yeah, this Yingling is much better than this. Yes. And of course, Yingling uses corn as an adjunct, uh, but you know, in order to meet that price point of a $20 case, adjunct. apparently. Adjunct. Yeah, adjunct. <laughs> adjunct. With an N C T at the end. And a junk. Yeah. T. 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 With a T. And a possible V. And that's what it means to be you and me. So there you have it. I'm drinking it. I'm finishing it. I'll finish the bottle. It's not a problem. You didn't put the rest in there? Kind of. I can do that now. Kind of grows on you after a while, I guess. Dave and I were just upstairs having a um, raspberry ale from Fegley's like Brew Works. Years. 
And so you go from something that's like excessively flavorful to this one. Maybe it's not necessarily fair, but that's what we did. And that's could be coloring our perceptions. But hey, I never do the same beer I twice have, in a row anyway. I don't drink the same beers twice in a row either. <laughs> yes. I well, have like 25 different kind of beers in my fridge at home. And I never grab the same one twice. I mean, I may have two of the same beers. First but world I issues. But I never, I don't drink them back to back. Like I'll have a, a um, I don't know, like, like like a Yingling black and tan. Then I'll have like a a, 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 a Victory black and uh, um, uh, Storm King Stout. Then I'll go over and I have a Dirt Wolf. And then I'll go over and I'll have a, a, a Blithering Idiot. Then I'll have you know, so once in a while I'll have the same distributor brewer brewer. Yeah, but that's about it. Yeah, that was the same. So there you have it. Um, straight up, more or less fives for both of us. It's it's. But again, if you're a lager only person and you like your Budweiser, this you should Bad. buy this because this will blow you know blow Budweiser, Bush, all those other stuff out. I don't think we ever reviewed Bush. Bush, Bush. I know. The last time I had Bush, I was Keystone. You know, Keystone's being sued by Stone Brewing because they dropped the key and they have a big stone on their can now. And so they're like, hey, you're trying to get people to think that this is from us. So we're uh, suing you. No. The last time I had Bush was not a good day. Yeah. Last time I had Bush, it was a great day. But it wasn't a beer I'm talking about. I Sorry. can't think back that far. I mean, for me anyway. Anyway, 11 minutes. Far too long a rant. Yeah. So... Women are pregnant. That's do not drink alcoholic beverages due to the risk of birth effects. You should not drink and drive or operate heavy machinery if you're under the influence of alcohol. Oh. And of course, excessive drinking can cause health problems. Like you get fat and you get jowls hey, and your hair falls out. I was told I look very skinny today. You do look very skinny today. Thanks. I thought I was looking at a telephone pole. You're so skinny. I am skinny. Right. Or maybe it's just because you're wooden. I was told. I know. I was told. Well, your mom was very nice. No, I was told by somebody else. Oh. I said it, Dave. You look skinny. No, today. it was my brother's fiance. Oh, oh. So you look very skinny. She's today. like, oh, you, 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 you <laughs> the men of your family. Ooh. <laughs> anyway, listen. The reason we try all these different beers is we believe that you should drink great beers. And have a guy laugh or two with your friends. So be our friend. Subscribe to our channel. Yes. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment below, and share. Yes, please share. If I could turn back time. Oh, wait, that's coming with the frog, so. Yeah, we're done. We're done now. Are we there yet? Done we are. Off the phone should turn. Are you trying to make it to 13 minutes exactly? No. The OCD kicked in. 13 minutes. Okay, stop now. <laughs>